there's a reindeer up there. I just rinsed out the conditioner, standing upright, sang a few Christmas carols, and then I got out of the shower. Of course, this might have to change when I cut my hair and I don't have any hair to put in a ponytail. Oh, stay tuned. <laughs> Hello, beautiful human beings. Welcome to my home. If you are new, welcome to my channel. Um, and if you're a returning subscriber, hello, welcome back. It is a surprisingly blustery, wintry day. I don't know if you can see, uh, we, we did decorate a little bit. We can't really, I don't know. Thank you. There's a reindeer up there. Anyway. I apologize if you can hear the wind blowing or anything like that. It's pretty intense and it's you can hear it through our fireplace. I'm making this video just to do a quick kind of summary. In my last video, as you may or may not know, I talked about quitting the curly girl method. Um, and it's actually, a lot of you pointed out in that video that I'm not actually quitting. It's more of a modified version that I'm gonna start following now. And so I wanted to share that with you because there is a lot of valuable tips, tricks, resources from the curly girl method that can apply to all hair types because I'm also aware that I do not have curly hair. I have um, somewhat wavy hair, it's pretty fine. It's a uh, high porosity, I think. I'm learning a lot of these things as I go. So I just wanted to run through what I'm doing now. You can see from my hair, um, this is day three of me not washing it. I had the best shower of my life when I did wash my hair. I, I still shower every day. One part of the curly girl method I'm keeping is the shower cap and not washing, getting my hair wet every single time I'm in the shower. It's every two to three, sometimes four days. So let me tell you, I one thing I did not like about the curly girl method process was combing conditioner through my hair in the shower. It actually meant that I was bent over upside down combing, like trying to get a comb through my hair in the shower with conditioner and then applying all the products in the shower and the shower became just like the most, it was just a lot of work. It became a lot of work in the shower and you know, it was not a relaxing experience to go and have a shower when I was washing my hair. So I feel for all you girls that still follow that process because it works for your hair, but I just couldn't commit to it. My showers were taking way too long. I was never enjoying them. I was upside down half the time. So I had a shower. I actually did not brush my hair at all in the shower, comb my hair. I did not comb my shit. I did not comb my hair in the shower. I actually just washed it with sulfate free, paraben free, silicone free shampoo, which is part of the method that I'm still going to follow. So I just use any shampoo that is Free of all of those things. I'm also, then I used a conditioner which is also free of all those things. Diva Curl obviously has a whole brand line of products but you don't have to use Diva Curl. I just have this big bottle that I kind of have to go through before I buy anything else. I use a lot of conditioner in my hair because it gets very tangly. But then instead of having to flip upside down and comb my hair for a million hours, getting out all these knots and also pulling out a lot of my own hair, I just rinsed out the conditioner, standing upright, sang a few Christmas carols, and then I got out of the shower. So that's one step I'm not doing anymore. I'm not combing my hair in the shower. Then I did get out of the shower and put on my microfiber towel this one has a button on it, it's awesome. I didn't use any kind of other towel right away, soaking wet hair, put it in here, wrapped it up, let it dry. After that, I took it out and I let it dry some more and I slept on it. I did not even comb it when, it took it, when I took it out of the towel. So I did not put any products in it, no mousse, no oils, nothing, and I did not comb it at all and this is what it looked like. So if you've seen any of my other videos, I kind of am getting the same results with a lot less effort. So I'm happy with that. So another part of the curly girl method that I am keeping, of course, is when I go to bed, I'm using my satin pillow, my satin pillowcase. I freaking love my satin pillowcase. So that's staying. I'm also going to be keeping the hair scrunchies when I go to bed. 
um, in a very loose top ponytail. And also anytime I put my hair up, I try and use a very loose and soft hair tie so that I'm not pulling on my hair. Of course, this might have to change when I cut my hair and I don't have any hair to put in a ponytail. Oh, stay tuned. So I'm keeping that. The little clips method, if I have a lot of time and I'm going out somewhere and I'm gonna be doing my makeup, I might put my hair up in these little clips to create like the curls. It does work. If you see my first curly hair, curly girl method video, putting in the clips while you let your hair air dry really, really does help have more volume and curl. Still, when I blow dry and I want to blow dry wavy hair, I'm going to keep it on a low heat setting. I'm going to use my diffuser, but when I straighten my hair, I'm just going to regularly dry it. I'm just going to dry it regularly and I'm going to straighten it. I've straightened my hair now two or three times since quitting the curly girl method and the next day when I wash my hair and let it go wavy again, it goes just as wavy as it did before. So that is is what it is. So yeah, those are all the things from the Curly Girl Method I'm going to keep. I think I learned a lot about how to better care for my hair, which is awesome. And I'm excited to cut my hair as well. That's one of the steps I think if you are starting your Curly Girl hair journey, wavy hair journey, kind of sort of in the middle journey, um, getting a good haircut and being realistic about the condition of your hair is the most important. Like I've done a lot of coloring, bleaching, heat styling to my hair over the years. So a lot of this hair is pretty damaged. And um, some of you mentioned that if I would have got a bigger chop at the beginning, I might be doing better at this point, but I'm still gonna just do the bigger chop now. And I'm excited to kind of see how my hair responds to a lot less weight and a lot healthier ends and all that. So my next video will be about getting my hair cut. Thank you guys so much for, again, all of your amazing comments throughout this journey. All the videos, like I've said before, if you go back and you look in the comments, there's so much information that's so helpful. And I do appreciate those who've called me out that I don't have curly hair. I have, I've, I've finally accepted it. I don't have curly hair. I have kind of wavy whatever hair. It is what it is. I'm fine with it. Totally fine with it. So if you haven't already, subscribe. I'm gonna be making a few more videos about this. I have tons of other videos if you wanna peruse my channel. I've talked about fitness. I did a bodybuilding competition. I have some recipes. I have all kinds of, I've got Q and A's. I'm gonna be making more videos in the future as well. And, oh, and hit the little bell below this screen as well because apparently YouTube has all these rules, regulations, and you don't actually get notified when a new video comes up unless you hit the bell. Thank you guys all again so much for being a part of this journey, being supportive, giving me all the tips, and also for being supportive of my next step, which is to get a haircut. So I will, I will see you in my next video. Ah.